liberal acceptance of homosexuality in Washington has translated trans into hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer funding for gay activist organizations. In recent years, the federal government is now calling on churches to adjust their teachings on homosexuality. Yeah. A recent report from the Department of Health and Human Rights Services states religion presents another risk factor. Many traditional fundamentalist states still portray homosexuality as morally wrong. Religion needs to reassess. Yeah, if it's morally wrong, it's just stupid to make in a it an institution. Within their belief systems. Indeed, government private legal action is now being taken against churches and businesses for alleged discrimination against homosexuality. In New York, former Mayor Ed oh, issued an executive order granting bereavement leave rights to homosexuals whose domestic partners die as local, state, and federal governments have to come to accept and protect the homosexual sodomite movement public sentiment has also become more sympathetic. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> you homosexual keep going for holding the following positions. The percent saying it should not was present. 50% number of the clergy, 48% the teacher, 50% cabinet member, 57% judge, 59% member of Congress and 60% city government official, 60% policemen and 61%. So between 48 and 61% over half of Americans on average believe that being a homosexual shouldn't keep you from holding high public office. The new morality. Do you think half America is gay? Yeah. Or... Let them be. I don't care what they do in their closet. As long as we don't talk about it. Now, well, yeah, you don't have to, like, parade it in the street. I, I can't even go celebrate that I have a normal marriage. People will say I'm bragging. If I go out in a parade and say, ah, oh, I'm a heterosexual, I have a wife, people are just going to think I'm crazy. Why do you have to go, like, parade your, your gayness? Because they used to get beat up. Oh, because they got to provoke you, so then they can act, act like that they need more rights. And then, oh, because there's money in provoking people and needing more rights. I get it now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're discriminating me, even though I'm making myself look like my problems are more important than others. And then when I actually yeah, have real I'm... problems, then there's a bunch of faggots telling me that I'm playing the victim because I'm... I, like, if you actually are a real victim, and then a bunch of faggots see you doing it, they'll tell you you're playing the victim. Yeah. I don't know why I think you got to celebrate so much. I can wait for photographer Robert Maple for celebration of homosexuality with his well, I'm not we're having an in-depth discussion about this. Man. This is an intellectual subject. Homosexual marriage is a very intellectual subject. A beautiful painting of a man urinating into another's mouth and the arms posing with the long end of a ball whip dangling from a well-known body cavity. That was good. That was art. That was art there. And Andrew Durano's work entitled Fist Christ. Hey, wait. Hello. I got Hello. call waiting, Todd. Todd, I got call waiting. The artist's most recent medium is own urine. That was good one too. Uh, I'll have to call you back. I have to. I got an important call. I think. 